Hey Ragamuffins, Jamie here for another HIIT workout. Thank you so much for joining me for today's movement session. Today we're gonna be doing two exercises 40 seconds on with a 10 second rest break. I'm gonna be using mat and medium to heavier set dumbbells, but remember you use whatever feels accessible for you today. The timer and I are just guides, so take a break whenever you need it. Another option here is I'm gonna utilize the incline as well as the ground, as well as the wall. So you do what feels good for you today. All right, I'm gonna grab my towel and water bottle and let's get started. All right, first we're gonna start with those arm circles front and back, reaching forward first, spreading those palms out wide, opening up. Maybe we get a little bit of knee bend in there. Opening up those arms, opening up that chest, warming up the body. Now we're gonna move it into a backwards direction, reaching up, opening up, warming that body up. Sometimes I feel like I'm drinking water during these. I'm like, sorry about that. <laughs> Two and one. Twisting march, coming into a knee bend and then rotating that torso. Coming into that knee bend and rotating that torso. You can also do one or the other. So only come into that upper body torso rotation or lower body knee lift. If you wanna put them together, go ahead and do so. Warming up that body, breathing on the way out. Inhale, exhale. Diagonal side to side reaches. We're reaching up high and throwing that ball down. Picking up, I always wanna say, picking up a basketball and throwing it down. Not really sure why you'd be doing that, but that probably is why I sat the bench a lot in basketball. <laughs> so I wanted to do things like this. Lift and throw, rotating that body. Breathing good. Next one we're coming into is air squats. So knees, facing toes, coming down, breathing out. Remember, you control the depth of this. We're sitting back like we're sitting back in a chair, bringing those arms up as you're coming back down. Nice job. All the way up to a stand. You control the depth. You control the speed of these coming down all the way to stand. Easy, nice work. Front kicks. So here, I'm reaching up with my hands, kicking up. You may need to hold on to something for balance with this, or shorten the lever and come to knee marches up and down. Front kicks. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Nice work. Inhale and exhale, coming up and down. Two and one. We're gonna come into reverse openers. So coming into a tap or maybe a little bit of a lunge. Maybe you wanna bend that knee or keep it straight. We're just coming into an opener. Getting warming up that body. Getting that heart rate up just a little bit. Opening up the chest. Getting ready for the hit session. It's about to take place. Super pumped. Two. And one, front raises here. So side to side, lifting those arms. This is a little bit of a rub your belly, pat your head. If you want, you can come into a little bit of a hop or keep it here. 15 seconds, breathing. Nice work. And good, good, good. There, five seconds. And all right, for this next one, we're gonna have a weight in one hand. So I have my weight in my left hand and come back into a reverse lunge or tap with the right leg. So balance, hold on to something if necessary. Coming back. And you can come into a lunge only or you can come into a lunge, lift, tap. So lunge, lift, tap. Let's do that, I like that one better. So lunge and lift and tap. The other option with this weight is hold it up high. Tap and lift. So a lot of balance on the stability leg. Make sure that when you come up to a stand, that leg 
is slightly bent. So again, weight can be here, weight can be here. If you're stepping back, tapping back, both knees are bending in that lunge and lift. Now I'm gonna switch sides, show you if you need something for balance, hold on for stability, weight can be here or here. Knee comes up, tap, and step back. You determine the depth of the lunge, whatever you feel comfortable with, as long as both knees are bending, upper body staying high. Tap, again, weight can be held here or at any other place. And lifting and breathing. Nice work. Trying to think about those hips staying even across the body. All right, 10 seconds, switching it up. You're like, ah, oh, this is not very fun, Rip. Like, one, two, right, left. Lift up, or weight right here. So, you can also come into a step back and lift. That's gonna really focus it on balance more than that lunge position. If you wanna hold on to something, or you can come into that slight lunge and lift. Maybe vary the depth a little bit. Maybe lift that weight up. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Yeah, nice job. Again, you can focus on balance and tap back and lift. Or have here, tap back and lift. You're really gonna feel it in that stability leg. That's the one that's doing all the work. And up. All right, coming into that other side, lifting that weight up, holding it here. Tapping back, again, I'm gonna focus on balance here just to give you another option for this exercise. Or you can lift that weight up here. Maybe you come into that knee bend. And lift, engage core, breathing. Nice work. And down, good. We got 15 seconds. Hey. And breathing. And all rocking it. And last time with these two exercises. And then we throw them out the window. There's no windows in here. I'm in the basement. I have one window. I lied. Okay. Down. Tap. And up. Down. The key to recording uh, workout. You just pretend like you're talking to someone, you know? Like literally I'm the only one in the room, but Makes it more interesting. All right, step back, breathe. Hopefully they made you laugh. Coming back, engaging that core as you lift up. Nice job here, and lift up. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Good. And 10 seconds, last one in here. Again, weight can be here, here, up. You can hold on to balance. You can have one finger hold on something. Coming up and lift. Nice job, lift, breathe. Good, back. Again, you can lift weight up. And up. Knees bent. Five seconds. Last one here. And lift.
All right, coming into a split stance position. So now we're gonna have one leg in front of the other, roll shoulders back. We're gonna come into a piston row. So think about pistons, think about how they work. We're gonna hinge forward back, pull one weight back, and as the one weight comes up, the other weight is gonna be coming down. And then halfway through, we're gonna switch that split stance. So we have that core engaged, two and one. Come up, roll shoulders back, split that stance, hinge at the hip. You can vary the speed of this. So you can keep that core engaged and pull, 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 or pull and come down. Okay, there we go. Now I'm on it. Two and one. All right, we'll start kind of where we ended. We're gonna come to hop overs and runs. Hop over, side to side. We're gonna pretend like we're hopping over something. Maybe it's a line, maybe it's a log. Lifting that knee up and over. And then halfway through, I'm gonna switch us to low impact runs. Meaning we're not gonna be leaving both or the one foot off the ground. So here, low impact runs. My feet, both of my feet are on the ground. Now, if I want, I can add like an up and back or a jog in place. But right here, both of my feet are on the ground. I'm bending my knees. Good. All right, coming into that lunge piston row, rolling shoulders back, splitting that stance, hinging at the hip, gazes forward, pull back. One and one, one and one. Breathing, breathing, breathing. So we're pulling the elbow back, pulling the elbow back, pulling the shoulder up over the spine, hinge up and switch that split stance. Hinge at the hip and piston. Like I said, you can come into a quicker one if you want or make it very intentional one at a time. Breathing, two and one. All right. Second round, coming into those hopovers. We're trying to avoid something. Sometimes, you know, maybe I'll put a stick down or something like that, but I like to uh, mitigate the trip hazards here. So coming up and over, lifting that knee up, hopping over, stepping over, and then halfway through, we'll come into that, those low impact runs. Breathing, two, and one. So again, here. Moving those arms, moving those knees. And if you want, you can add that up and back or run in place. So there, five seconds, about <laughs> two and one. All right, last one here. Rolling shoulders back, coming into that piston. Back and hinge forward, pulling back. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Hinging forward. Anytime you start to get fatigued, you're like, woo, -hoo -hoo. let's go. Come into that rest break. Remember, we clap for rest around here. Two and one. Roll shoulders back. Split that stance. Come forward, pull. And we're pulling. Think about that starting the lawnmower. Ours is electric. Just had to throw that dig in there, I guess. Pull back, breathing. But I remember back in my day, starting the lawnmower. And one. All right, last one, coming into those hop overs. Running in place, two and one. Jumping over, hopping over, stepping over, side to side. You can even snap with it, lean with it, roll with it. Hoop, hoop, hoop. I know, he didn't sign up for music class, but he got it. Three, two, and one. Coming into those jog in place. Like I said, you can come forward. You can lift those feet. You can increase the speed. Keep both on the ground. However, feels good for you today. Coming, breathing, breathing, breathing. Three.
Holy moly, side to side tap. You all did amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to hang out, get your body moving, and to me and body movement for more. Whatever it is that you're coming for today, hope, hope you found it. Got a little closer to it. Set tap, cooling down, bringing that heart rate down. Now we're gonna come side to side, lift, and breathe. So take this stretch, gently, slowly. Maybe you wanna add a little bend and extend to it. Bend and extend. You all rocked it today. Lift, lift. And lower. I like to support my hip on these ones. Chest and back openers, we're coming back. Kind of hugging and opening, getting ready for a hug. See, I always have to relate something to like, embrace, hug, <laughs> harmony. Coming together, opening up, expanding. Whatever feels good for you. Maybe you want to extend that back a little bit more, bend the knees, open up, walk around. I never do like static strip, like hold. I'm always kind of moving my knees. Bending. All right, coming into a shoulder stretch, rolling that wrist, opening that wrist. Maybe you extend above the elbow, hold. If you need to, you can grab onto the wall and turn your body as well. That's another possibility if that above the elbow hold is tough and switch. Other side, rolling wrists, opening up fingers. Breathing, breathing, breathing. All right, now we're gonna come into hamstring stretch, dig that heel into the ground, and slowly hinge at that hip. Use your balance if ever you need anything for balance. Please, please, please go ahead and do so. Breathe, and one, slowly coming up and switching. Dig that heel into the ground, coming down, breathing. Relishing in that stretch discomfort note. And one. Next one we're gonna do here, hip flexor, step back, tilt, kind of tuck that bottom under. If you feel balanced, reach that hand up and over, same side. You're gonna get kind of even more of that stretch in the hip flexor. And one, switch sides down. Tuck that pelvis, bring that bottom under, reach up and over. Is that something that feels for you today. Coming into a neck stretch, reaching down side to side. So feel free to play with those wrists a little bit, opening up, nodding the head, slowly rolling side to side, giving that neck some love. Side breathing, come back and forth, kind of like a tick tock. So ear to shoulder, nodding, opening up wrists, opening up fingers, still kind of in that, um, I think, I don't even know what I'm saying, Never mind. Okay, inner thigh stretch. So we're gonna come down, toes out, knees out, come down, get a little bit of inner thigh stretch, rolling shoulders back, so dynamic one more. Moving, not staying in that static stretch. Like always, you all did awesome today. Movement for more. I hope that this workout left you feeling warm, energized, ready to take on the day, whatever life throws at you. Thank you so much for joining me for that workout. You all did awesome. Can't wait to see you next time. Remember, movement for more because you were made for more.